<laughs> All right, everybody, keep it going for your next comedian. Also a good friend of mine. Give it up for Dennis Reed. <laughs> the mom is still here. Have some respect. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't, no, anything I would say to that would be inappropriate. What's up, folks? My name is Dennis James Hawthorne Norman Reed. I hail from the frozen wasteland of Alaska, and I moved here after going to an Iron Maiden concert one day, and I was like, what's up with the sun going up and down? That's fucking cool. Anybody here been to Alaska know what I'm talking about? It's dark nine months out of the year. That's why I have five kids, that and a lot of cocaine. Oh, my God, I love cocaine. <laughs> I know you're looking at me and you guy. that guy listens to smooth jazz. Nay, I am a metalhead at all, usually the only metalhead, but of course Johnny comes in. Uh, God, you're so sexy to me. You're like Zach Wild if, if he could kill me. Anyways, uh, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I kind of, I know I look like maybe somebody who found Jesus later in life, and I did, and I was like, hey, Jesus, you ever smoke crack, buddy? And Jesus was like, nay. And I was like, well, I got this bacon soda and cocaine. I know you could turn water into wine. What can you do with this, buddy? The only problem is when you smoke crack with Jesus, dude just hangs around. Yeah. <laughs> Lady yelled at me, you're going to burn in hell. I'm like, I'm from Alaska. I left that place. You can't scare me. Oh, it's hot all the time. Oh, no, whatever will I do? Uh, yeah, Washington's interesting. Our tweakers in Alaska, they tend to die because it's really cold outside, and you find them in the springtime in a box crusher. <laughs> hearing, hearing their little meth pipe just tinkling to, to doom, just crunch, crunch, crunch. Ah! You're like, shit, wrap them up, ship them back to Seattle. <laughs> Fuck you know, it's it's a it's a crazy state up there. I uh, I'm 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 almost 50 years old. Uh, you know, the truth is, once you hit around 48, 49, you turn into a kid again. You know how they're like, I'm 13 and a half. I'm like, I'm fucking 50. Okay. Every time I sit down, I'm like a tea bag. My balls just bounce off the water, and I like it. All right, it's refreshing and it wakes you up in the morning. I also, I also spill my coffee on my own nuts every time, but that's all right. I don't mind. I like pain and I like it hot. <laughs> I also quit drinking. I didn't even think about the shit thing, but that's true. That explains what my hemorrhoids blew up. Fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Never mind. <laughs> You'll get that later, maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, my hemorrhoids got so bad, I had him and her roids. <laughs> I had a little, had a little monogrammed asteroids for him. It was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, man, I, I'm old. I'm learning stuff as I get older. Uh, first off, I've outlived all my friends. That makes me sad sometimes. But you know, fuck them. You should quit doing drugs and drinking. This is a Heineken Zero. Every time I take a drink of this, watch this. Mm. Sadness. Eternal fucking sadness. I remember everything. Three years sober. I quit smoking weed four months ago because I'm like, fuck it. I can see death. He's right over there. And I'm not going to be able to outrun him. I'll wait. Nice bike. Uh, I don't ride bikes, man. I'll fucking die, dude. I, I have the attention span of a squirrel or whatever Joe was talking about earlier. Uh, well, yeah, I'm learning stuff, man. I'm learning, like, some weird things, though. Like, I got a girlfriend. I don't know that, how that happened. I shaved my beard off just so she could see my face. My mom always told me I was a handsome woman before it was cool. And uh, hashtag handsome woman. And I, uh, I, uh, I've learned some things about women that I think. And, I, and you don't correct me because I hate being told that I'm wrong, but... I, I think I know why older dudes like 25 to 26-year-old women because they just got away from their dad pawing at them, right? And don't, don't ooh me on that because I've seen porn these days, all right? I know what's going on on there. Like, Jesus Christ, I know COVID was bad, but quit fucking your siblings. Also, I don't scroll past that shit because nobody got time for that, right? It's like I got this flesh landing in a feed itself. That was inappropriate. <laughs> Anyways, so I fucking... I figured it out, man. Is they you know they they just they're there. They the guys feel like they're studs and everything else. And now my girlfriend, she's an older lady. And for the love of fucking God, do not tell her I said that. You need to delete that recording. But uh, yeah, around 35, they fuck you. Okay, that's the thing. It's like being on a roller coaster. You throw your hands up in the air like you just don't care, but you better grab something because you're just a dildo on a shower wall at this point. You just fucking hang on, man. You're going to Disneyland, and it is not for free. It is scary, and it's going to cost you everything. I threw my back out. And then she, like, throws a towel at me, tells me to wipe myself down and go make her a fucking sandwich. And I don't even like Miracle Whip, but I made that fucking sandwich. I'm a goddamn chef. And it comes to the bedroom. And I don't want her to see me crying, so I just use the, the bread to wipe my fucking face off. Uh, I used to smoke a lot of crack. <laughs> I don't know if that's relevant. I just thought maybe I'd give you a bit of an explanation as to why I am the way I am. Uh... I burned the light last night, so I'm going to keep looking over at Joe to make sure that I don't fucking do it again. I don't know what time is. I don't even think before I come up here and talk. People say I'm crazy. I'm like, fuck you, prove it. My therapist moved to England, motherfuckers. You know? I try to call her. She won't call me back, so I guess I don't have to pay child support. Crazy bitch. 
I used to do this awesome bit. I'm from Alaska. You know, I've had a lot of run-ins with bears. I mean, I never fucked one. Not on purpose. It happens sometimes. Usually I have a beard so I can be like, oh, this is bear fur. But it's not. It's just sadness. And again, trying to grow my face blanket back. But uh, I used to have this great bit about meth bear. And then all of a sudden, fucking cocaine bear comes along and ruins it. Like, cocaine bear made $23 million the first night of the release. I made eight bucks hosting a show for Joe Rogers once. <laughs> And fucking, but in Alaska, the bears are coming down from the mountains because global warming is not real. Well, tell that to these fuckers. They're getting up early. There's nothing worse than a bear that wakes up grumpy from a nap. And they're getting in the trash cans and they're getting into the meth. Now you got a bear that's high on meth. Guess what? They don't hibernate anymore. They got to go to fucking Burger King and get a goddamn job like the rest of us. Fucking back there working the fryer. Like you go out back, you see a blowing boo boo for fucking more. <laughs> You know, the maulings are nice though, cause they don't have any teeth, so it's just like a warm uncle from my uncle, or a war hu- warm hug from my uncle. Don't judge him; he had a really nice van. Uh, there is no such thing as free candy, though. <laughs> Explains those fucking hemorrhoids, right? Oh. Every time I take a drink, I want to kill myself. I know you're not supposed to make ju- jokes about suicide, but I think they kill every time. All right, let's get, keep going. Uh, what else do I got? What else I got? Oh, what do a baby and an etch a sketch have in common? If you shake them both hard enough, they reset. Oh, what? I'm pro choice too, man. I got five kids. I love most of them. It's gonna say that on my grave. The girl's cool, but the boys want to be just like me. They both sell weed and they both live with their mother. I'm like, I moved out from that bitch's house. You're crazy. I'm kidding, Katie. You got you, you can't. You can't show anybody this one, bro. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Oh, uh, what else? What else do I got? I don't know, man. That might almost be it. Uh, yeah, you know, be nice to each other. I really wish your kids had been here. I could have taught them some things. I don't care if I fuck up kids. I fucked up my own kids. Stranger kids? I don't even know your name. Why would I care? They go, oh, Mommy, what's a meth bear? Don't work at Burger King, son. Y'all have a good night. This is awesome. I love your little fucking bar here. All right. Thank you, Dennis James Norman Horton Reed Jr.